What's up, DGENs? Welcome back to the channel. It's a bloodbath out there. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to pretend it feels great. I'm not going to pretend it doesn't suck because it does. Uh, this is part of the game. Uh, we all knew this was a possibility, and here we are. We're sitting in it. If you are looking for a community to join right now, whether you're looking for some positivity, some help, some advice, some tips, some tricks, some active trades that you know people are going on and in about, uh, feel free to join into the AlphaMint server. We have a still relatively active server. We have people in there talking about trades and all kinds of things that are happening in the market right now. Go ahead and click that link below and join the server, say what's up. All right, with that said, I'm gonna do a quick PSA. If you have uh, the majority of your portfolio or if you are overexposed in the markets right now with crypto, NFTs, or in any other way, shape, or form, do yourself a favor and just get out now. Take the peace of mind Take the remaining money you have left and just sit on the side. It's not worth it. Uh, let's pretend you're not going to watch the markets anyway. Um, so if it starts running again, you can jump back in as soon as possible and you'll miss out on at most a couple hundred dollars. So if not, you're just going to drive yourself crazy. You're probably going to make bad trades. You're definitely going to make bad decisions. You're, it's going to haunt you. You're going to lose sleep. You're going to not do well. So please, if you are overexposed, if most of your portfolio is in NFTs or in crypto right now, just please save yourself while you can. Don't write it down to zero. It's not worth it. I've seen it. I've experienced it. 2017, 18 crash in crypto. I, I lost, I would say, 90% of my portfolio. I walked away with a few thousand dollars and a fat tax bill. It was not worth it. I told myself never again. So please, if you find yourself in that situation, if your rent money is in NFTs right now, get out, save yourself, please. Okay, with that PSA said, let's move on. Uh, the rest of this video, I'm going to talk about NFTs, the current market state, obviously Azuki's. It's way too uh, pressing and, and time relevant and outrageous to not talk about. Um, I'll slowly touch on, or, or not slowly, uh, slightly touch on the whole Terra Luna situation. I, I honestly don't know that much, so I'm not going to be your source for that. And then lastly, let's talk about some trading opportunities. There's still some money to make out there. Uh, this will all be chapters, so if you want to skip around and skip to the good stuff, aka the money-making opportunities, feel free. Starting with NFTs, it's a bloodbath out there. Everything is red. Most things are negative. The floor on tons of projects has just been absolutely obliterated. Uh, it's not uncommon to go onto any of the data tracking websites and see you know, floor cuts and prices way down, like 50% or more. Um, you know, Azuki and Beans taking the biggest hits. We'll talk about that more in a second. Um, but, you know, we I think we saw what board apes go from 135, 140 down to about 90. I think they're sitting just above 90 right now. That's a cool 100K right off the top, which hurts. But, you know, if the ultimate blue chip is, you know, touchable or, or uh, showing price cuts, that means the rest of the market is definitely taking a hit. Uh, there have been some things that have been pumping. There's been some swing trade options, uh, mostly with Azuki and Beans, um, given all the Zagabond info, which I guess we'll just talk about right now. Um, came out that Zagabond was actually the creator of three separate projects. I believe it was Funks, Zunks, and Frosties, or Tendies? Tendies. Um, he created fake profiles or 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 characters, as he said, for all those, and then rug them all and use them as a learning experience to create Azuki. So as you've seen, Azuki is basically nosedive down. I think it's under 80th at the moment. Uh, there were some awesome swing trade opportunities yesterday, the last couple days. So if you got in on those, congrats. You made some money in this market, which has been just brutal. But um, yeah, I don't... Ethics aside, obviously the outlook is not great. Uh, legally, he technically didn't do anything wrong, which sucks. And I know a lot of people are echoing and it's like, oh, this is the way the market works. And it's like, cool. How about we don't let the market work like that? And, you know, talk with our ETH. But here we are. Um, yeah, I don't. I personally don't know what's going to happen to Azuki. Uh, I if Zagabon steps down and bails from the project, I think the project still has a chance. If not, I wouldn't be shocked if it just kind of slow rugs, um, not intentionally, but mainly because of the entire project's trust and market sentiment is shot. Its rep is definitely in the gutter. 
Um, it's probably not coming back the way it was. If it does, it's going to take a lot. It's going to take some time. So if you're thinking about investing in it, uh, it's going to be a long-term hold. Um, there still might be some swing trade opportunities, so definitely watch for those. But ultimately, I, I, I don't think it has a chance of coming back. Uh, same with, I mean, the other, if you want a little low risk opportunity trades and swing trades, uh, look into beans. Um, they've been fluctuating between, you know, one to two ETH. Um, if you want to spend a little more volume picking up, you know, three to five of those, flipping them for, you know, anywhere from 0.2 to 0.3, there's some decent profit and little lower risk there, uh, as a pair, compared to Azuki's, you know, eight to 10 ETH where people were swing trading, but up to you. Um, if you want to, you know, make money while you can, by all means, go for it. Um, in this market, I don't blame anybody. I think everyone is just trying to make it out alive at this point. Uh, fuck, it's brutal. Okay, moving on to the whole crypto market in general and the Terra Luna situation. Uh, first, the mar markets in crypto are just bloody in general. Um, stock market itself isn't doing great. And when you kind of zoom out to the macros, which is, you know, the financial markets outside of crypto and thinking of NFTs as micro, because it is compared to the numbers and the volume, um, crypto itself is taking a beating, therefore NFTs are going to take a beating. Um, but uh, Ethereum uh, was trading around 3000 about, what is that, five, six days ago, and now it's currently sitting in the mid 2100s. So that doesn't feel great, uh, but it is what it is. So. I hope you either got into some stables ahead of time or just cut your losses when you needed to and are sitting comfortably on the side. Everyone is definitely a little spooked in the markets. So that's why you see people just, you know, running in fear. Again, 2017, 2018, definitely uh, shocked and scared a lot of people. And I think some of those people are still in the markets. Um, so, and, you know, it just right now, financially, just in the world, and it's not great. So, uh, people are going to take out their fun, you know, discretionary investment money first. And that is unfortunately crypto. As far as the Terra Luna situation goes, I'm not going to pretend I'm an expert or I know exactly what's going on. Um, my, the most I know about it is that before, before today, you wanted to get into UST to stake at anchor and get that sweet, sweet 18%. But that no longer exists, or I guess it still technically exists, but you don't want to do that. Um, I will call myself lucky over the weekend. I was looking to swap a solid amount of ETH into UST to do exactly that, to stake and, you know, collect some rewards. However, the process is not as straightforward as, you know, swapping in Uniswap or in MetaMask and um, life got in the way. So I got lucky. I'm not going to pretend I didn't, but from what I understand, uh, in the UST situation, um, it was a stable coin based on an algorithm that was backed by BTC. With BTC going down, um, they have to sell BT their BTC that was backing UST to cover losses. Uh, again, I'm not an expert. I don't understand it at all. If I'm explaining it wrong or if I'm wrong, please let me know. I'll gladly pin your post and make sure everyone knows exactly what's happening. Uh, again, the little I do know, UST was supposed to be pegged to $1. It went under $1. Everyone freaked out. Luna crashed and everyone got out while they could, if they could. I know some people are not as fortunate. I know some people did some big buys yesterday of Luna thinking that it was going to go up and it has not done that. It's actually gone down. I think, let's see, where is it at right now? Uh... Yeah, it's under two dollars. It's a dollar ninety-two now. Ouch, that's brutal. So again, I don't know that much about the whole UST Terra Luna situation. Uh, forgive me. Uh, I just don't really play in those markets or on that side of things. Uh, hopefully, if you did switch into some stables or swap into some stables when you needed to, it wasn't UST. If it is, I'm sorry. As far as NFT trading goes right now, there's still plenty of opportunities. Is it a bull run? Of course not but there is still some money to be made out there. 
your main strategy is definitely going to be volume trading. You're going to look to get in and out as quick as possible in this market. You're looking for, you know, the 0.1s to 0.3s. You're not looking to, you know, moonshot anything right now. That's definitely not going to happen. If anything, you are going to probably think you're going to buy blue chip. It's going to go back up in the next couple of days. And it's not, if anything, it'll go down, which would suck, but I hope it doesn't if you buy it, but don't look for any quick big returns right now. That's definitely not what you want to play. There was a ton of swing trading opportunities yesterday with Azuki. I think there will be a few more in the rest of this week. Um, if you want to, like I said earlier in the video, if you want to do a little less uh, risky trade, you can trade on the beans. Those were definitely, those definitely had some good volume and movement, but volume is your friend right now. Small wins are your friends right now. Don't overexpose yourself trying to either win back or take advantage of the blood in the streets because we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know if we're going further down. Uh, I mean, ETH has been going down. We could see under 2K ETH. It's still not out of the picture, out of the question yet. So definitely look to volume trade and low risk and, and multiply that out. Uh, the other opportunity right now is if you've been watching any project, if you're hyped on any project, if you've wanted to get in some blue chips, now is your chance. I think there's a great sale happening on most blue chips. Again, if you're trying to buy one to flip it for two, three X in the next couple days, don't count on that. Uh, I wouldn't even count on that within the next week or so. It's just not where the market's at right now and that's fine. But if you're looking for some long-term holds, definitely look into some of those blue chips, allocate your liquidity and hang on and hold on for and hope for the best, I guess. But as far as that goes, the other thing you can do is trade rumors and news. Uh, be careful minting right now. If you're expecting something to mint and go crazy, it's probably not going to. You still have a chance to, if you have whitelist, to mint things and then maybe make again, you know, small gains, you know, 0.10 or, uh, you know, 0.05 if you have multiples. Like, again, the name in the game right now is small, consistent wins and not to overexpose yourself. Uh, there, there's still some opportunities, but, you know, be cautious. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I hope this helps shed some light on everything that's going on or at least let you know that you are not alone in this. Uh, everyone's feeling the pain. There's no one that's like super hyped or stoked right now. It just, it sucks. It really does. So if you want more uh, NFT talk or if you want more of a community to hang out with, rely on for some help or some advice, please join us in Alpha Mint. The link is in the, the link is below for the server. Again, uh, you're not gonna, don't think you're gonna join into Alpha Mint and we have all the secrets to make money right now. We don't. If we have opportunities, we're sharing them with each other in there. If we see something that could be, you know, an option to make some ETH, we're helping each other out. And if we need advice or if we're struggling, you know, we have a good community to rely on. Please jump in there, join us, hang out. Uh, with that said, please take care of yourselves. Maybe this is an opportunity to go outside or catch up on some chores or errands or whatever things you've been neglecting because you've been too busy making money. Hopefully, fingers crossed. But thank you guys for watching. Stay safe out there. Stay healthy. Take care of yourselves. And I will see you out there, DGENs.